Hi, my name is Lloyd Stovall, and I'm going to explain over Unity to you. Not many people claim that they're actually the person who created the word and also did all the research and development on what over Unity is, even has a physic term. Okay? A lot of people don't believe that I am the creator of over unity so I like to give you information that has never been given out I, I told many people this before that the movie back to the future was making a joke of my work so I clammed up and stopped speaking about it so many years later when I've, I've gotten old and gray I says let me reclaim my word okay I've written books after books after books about this. Most of them are just papers, but I'm actually putting out a, a pretty significant uh, page book. Okay, so let's look at this diagram that I, we're looking at. This is a water wheel. Okay, and this is the easiest way to understand what over unity is. You have water pouring over a water wheel water fills this cup up which is what a measurement a cup in the shape of what a V and you see the dotted line as the V okay so why do we say V because it means veritable it means this goes into a circle that means veritable so when this fills up the that water can't go anymore can't fill it up anymore so it gets heavy it starts to turn and the same amount of water comes out of the system okay equal amount in is equal amount out okay it also means that it changed direction you got an in and you have an out and because you have a variable it means it's variating it's changing direction Okay, that this is called over unity. Now, when I was younger, I says, hey, can you do that with batteries? Can you represent this with batteries? Say that all these little V's right here were batteries. And the energy coming in is the same energy going out while this is turning. Can you do that? The answer is 100% yes. Okay. Now, we have to do it a little bit different way. So, what we have to do is use fluctuation. What? Like that. You have a base, which makes this stay in one uh, area. And then you have, the say, positive and negative. And then it switches over here. And then it switches back, back and forth, back and forth. Okay? And you see the symbol V. Again, it's universal. So, again, when you when we say this thing, it says, hey, I'm, I'm switching DC back and forth. What is alternating. And it is a source, a direct source. Okay? which we call DC or AC it could be AC but DC and you switch it back and forth you have alternating DC current you haven't changed the DC to alternating current it's just alternating the DC the direct current alternating it back and forth so that's the explanation okay and then we showed that you can take batteries and you can loop it in on each other because that's where we talk about hyperlooping and looping that it gives you more energy okay and this is working energy What's, what power are we going in if you take something and you boost it up and you uh, make it charge itself and in the descriptions, we'll put other device. The BD device does the same thing. Okay? 
it just makes something run longer than it's supposed to so if you can do that and you hook it to something like this change in direction you have over unity and you put those two together over unity plus uh, looping you got an incredible give you what seems like you're getting more power out than in but it's not more power out than in what it is is that you're putting a certain amount of energy into it and you're getting more work power out of it so let's see that in real life let's see this okay let's power this on and let's see if we can get a good zoom in. Okay, no power going in. There we are. No power going in, no power going out. Okay, we're at 92. So let's plug in something. And let's the fan just came on and let's watch the run time time to empty that tells you how long something is going to run and it's going down 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 let's see if we can get that back in focus And it's going down. See how it's getting slower? Because it's getting close to the hour of what is going to run. So it's slowing down to match. So that's about normal right there. I can run this device for eight hours. See, it still goes down because you're consuming the energy. But now when we're talking about taking some its energy and looping it back into itself that we can get longer run times this is the work power that we're talking about okay now we're going to take some energy which we know to be out of a, a usb that's about five volts and two to three amps and we're going to plug it in and now that starts to climb and it says 10 watts in and see how that goes up this means that I am getting more work time by supplying this over here a small amount of energy into it and getting more work time out of this which means i'm cycling this battery that means we know what's going out of it because this arrow is saying out it's saying the word out and it's telling you eight watts of power is being consumed while 10 watts of power is going in this is how we know the saying of more power out than you put in can never happen. What it is, is more power in than you put out, but it all goes into this battery, which stores the energy, which is stored energy, but we don't want to get rid of the energy in the battery. So we charge it, putting it into a cycle that's what we call looping. And then you start to get these run times going up, 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 up. And this, and you can run that indefinitely. So I can run this cycle indefinitely 
and get the power I need to run something because that's what this is over here to run with my load and recycle the battery to keep it going and I have done the test on this and I've ran this over now 11 days and still had power in here because if I can get that see it says 91 this thing goes down so slowly now if I put more energy right here into this see how it's going to 10 and 11 into this say it goes to 13 and 14 this will even go slower until it just stops and starts to charge itself more than it does now if you can do that and keep that into a cycle that's beneficial that's what we talk about looping okay and that's the only term on looping over unity is just taking it and alternating back and forth now inside here it is almost simulating over unity but i can explain later why even though this is going in and this is going out it's not exactly over unity it's called pass through charging and the difference between the two but that's another story we just want to show you that we can get more working power out of something if you take a small amount of energy and put into it. All right. So we represent, and hold on, before we go here, we're gonna we're gonna write this down here. So you got V over one. If this is the battery unit, okay, this is the source of where the power is coming from. That means this this is a unit and if you put this together what are you going to have that's what you're going to have that's our symbol for this right here because this can't be rolled in most computers but that can so v over one and then what again when you looked at back to the future the flux capacitor that's what it looked like and that's why i said there's too many coincidence okay so but it's supposed to have that line through it because it's just v over one or it's just a space it means it also can be wrote as this right here or this one right here okay all those symbols it, it means v over one okay so now what is the one so here's what we say we got a battery it's one little battery this ain't a big battery it's not like this battery right here see what a big battery it's not it's not that <clears throat> doesn't hold much power yet i can make this do more than this big old guy right here way more how can i make more power come out of these batteries than not that's going into it because the is the energy going into it is more power but what happened is is this battery should de be depleted so i'm getting more work power out of it and how do we do in this let's go up and look at the symbol because this is the one this the these cores positive and negative equals one but as you see it's almost like an x2 but you can see that this is a v and why is it a v because if we follow this up you'll see that's the battery on one side okay positive and negative Let's zoom in on that so we can get it clear. See that? That's positive and negative. And I wanted to clean up the cord so we can understand. Going down to what? One battery, which is not very big. Okay? And then on the other side, which you see, they're attached. See, they're attached. And what do you got? This V. So... I just hooked that same battery over to the solar panels right there. So when you look at it, you see, look, I got 12 volts over here for the battery. 
and then I got 12 over here coming in for the solar cells. That's the same battery. So I got five amps coming into this and it's not coming from the battery. It's not coming from this over here. This is just looping this energy over here. So I can make this go full circle, come over here and charge itself. And that's what Bedini says, does that work? Yes, it does. And we, and we came out just about the same time with two different methods that says that I can make this battery charge itself. So he went into one direction. I went into another direction. So I'm saying, yeah, I'm looping this to make, to, to charge the battery itself or make it charge itself. Okay. So when I did that, once I did that, I says, now, where are we getting this power from? This one battery. Okay, so now we got to put energy into this because it has to come from the source. This right here is the holder because this becomes zero. Okay, that becomes the holder of the power. This one can't do this because it can't hold its own power. It either, if we go back over here right now, it's charging from the grid, going into the battery, and charging the load. Why? Because this will just empty out. It can't hold its own power. Now, when we when I show you later on in other videos, I'm going to show you when I take this battery and that these two cords and loop it over here into the solar cells. That and then unplug this source right here that this will sustain because what the solar cells themselves will do what I'm telling you it's going to give this power which comes from the source and then this will be zero which will be the representative of uh, neutral this line across right here in the middle of this dot okay that dot this line so that's the neutral and that's what that battery become because the solar cells will be the source okay and then you will run your load because you got to have the water come out of it just like the water will you have to, if, if it fills up and you just held it and didn't let this move it would fill out and spill over and you wouldn't get any work out of it in the batteries you would just damage the batteries so you got to let this water come in and let that energy come out. Okay. So now that we know that. Okay. And we we're demonstrating it right here. So we just take this side and looped it over to this side. Okay. Battery to the solar power. And then we can see what it's doing. You can see that the battery here and looping it over here to the solar panels. This normally does not change unless you put more batteries on it. We get our power from our solar, which are the amps. That can go up and down. This will stay the same. And this one will go up and down. So that's how we control how much energy goes back into this battery and how much energy actually can be given to the system okay so now it's regulated because of the battery just to let you know but we just want you to understand um what exactly is going on here okay and i'm giving a bad representative but that's okay it's, it's explaining what's going on so we know the information this is come on around 68 watts so that means that i have to have 68 watts or above to simulate this so let's go down to our uh, solar simulation this is our solar simulation and the reason why we want to know how much amps we want to know how much voltage so we can size our solar cell correctly to put into our system so this is going to be our unit our source Okay, it is pushing energy, and this is what this cord is. And let's follow that up, and you see that's going into this solar system on this part right here solar panels. 
and it's represented here at this five volts, which is keep pushing enough to force it into the batteries to keep this full circle. So we have an out and we have an in that's alternating and what alternating what DC current it can be AC because this right here runs on AC see this plug is plugged in in the thing that's AC so it can be AC but the whole point is alternating DC current is what over unity is and he says well where is it discharging you see the DC low you see this low going into this machine and it says 11 11 volts going into this machine and is and it's boosting up that's why I love these machines so it can have enough power to what go into this tie grid okay just enough energy to go into this tie grid turn it over because 20 22 volts is what you need to even turn this over so it goes in here and this is the out this is the pouring out and this is plugged in because let's let's check this look if i do this that goes off because it's disconnected from the grid so guess what you plug it in and you see that uh, that'll take a little while but it'll come back up that this is out and is going into my grid which like i say go back to all the people who are talking about over unity okay they never explain any of this you got people to show you more power out than in and and that doesn't tell you anything it's just a little catchphrase it's just what it does it does not explain on what you're doing with the power and you're never going to see them hook it to the, their house and stuff now you may have some apparatus that's, that's got motors and what's names and they saying look i can take the energy out here because john bedini does that but he's not claiming over unity either john bedini is taking something which is the back feed of the motor that spikes higher than the energy coming into it and getting uh, enough energy to charge a second battery but that's not called over unity and he's never called it over unity okay it's a schoolgirl circuit so that was out before all these people talking about over unity is more power out than in that's why we know that they're not they're just making it up we we know that they're faking it okay so i wanted to show you that because we showed you now the diagram explanations uh the physics terms okay and then we shown you in real life because this battery is cycling within itself that means it's self charging its battery but the power does come from somewhere okay it does come from somewhere and as you see when you add all this up okay it is more power into the system than you're getting out of the system but what's the definition uh, or what is the meaning what are you trying to do is this right here that's why i wanted to prove that how many um hundreds of times this cycle okay it's cycling hundreds and hundreds of times by itself okay this is cycling within itself in order to get this to do what i wanted to do or this to get it to do what i wanted to do i have to have a massive battery that's why they call it big battery i have to have a massive battery to hold all the kilowatts this one i can hold all these kilowatts in this little bitty thing because I can get this to self charge go into a circle okay and still put out energy now if I put another battery on here I can get more energy out here okay 
But that was self-cycle within itself. What's the difference between this over here, this big thing right here, and this thing right here? And that's what people have to understand. This, all this right here means that I can now turn off my grid from the power, just turn off all my house power, and this will stay on because the battery must empty in order to keep this on. So, even though this is simulated solar, so we take this solar right here that we made, which is in the basement. That's another thing that I did. And, and I tell people this. I says, you know what? If I just made over unity, I can see how people can call me a lot. But I got hundreds of products to fall back on. This right here, these things right here, take over from this right here. Okay? That's what this did. This just tells me the measurements and what I need or how much power I need to have this or how big it needs to be. Uh, so that's the information. So we're simulating this. This is a simulated solar. These are actually solar that work in my basement. And they draw very little power from the grid. But guess what? We can link this power back into this. Okay, we can link it back into this and just have a full circle. All of it, this self, all coming from this power because this right here only takes 12. This is 12 volts, about 15 volts, rather, but it, it, it's 12 volts in there. That means this light here, this cord right here, it runs on 12 volts. So, be, because of the two. I can run that 12 volts energy out and then I all I would have to do is get a bigger solar cell put a little bit more energy in this and it will handle the load by itself so this is a contained system which we will be doing with this it'll be a contained system that means we unplug it from the grid and that's what you have to do when I when I put out the video because I got to get some bigger solar cells. I'm waiting for them. They're on order. It's going to take a couple of months, I guess, for me to get them. But we're going to disconnect from the grid, and then the, this little solar sign, uh, um, the symbol for the solar will come up and do exactly what this is doing. It will keep that battery charged, and it will power the load. And it will stay in that mode because they have no other source of energy. Okay, and my loads will run either stuff like this, which goes into this and empowers that right there, or it'll power lights. And then you have a system. It's full circle. 100% full circle. Okay? Just like that is 100% full circle. So, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this right now? So I can get the data. Okay? This is another thing that they don't show. Okay? Is that all this data, all this data, what time it is, where the battery is just keeping track of that battery all that data right there all that data all this data okay because I needed more room so I'm starting to put all this data down here writing explanations and stuff so I can see what's going on with this right here and how long I can make this battery cycle into itself in which I explain about this because this is 12 volts the system needs uh, 19 volts at minimum to turn on 
then you could turn the power down. Okay? So now that I have 12 volts here, if this battery fully discharges, this system goes off, period. It will turn off and will not turn back on. It'll say over a discharge of the battery and turn off. But it hasn't done that because these batteries can never empty, which means that this is giving me more work uh, out of it then the big battery over here, this is giving me more work. Now, people take that and say, oh, that's more power out than in. It's just not true. I'm actually putting more power into this thing because you got to add this power plus this power to push enough energy to put back into the battery. And see, if you got 12.2, that's not enough. So the simulated soul, so when you take this right here and push back into this, okay, then now that battery can charge, which it says, charging. And you got your load. Now that energy is going out somewhere, which we can see, full circle, okay? Now, when I get this actually attached to uh, solar that means switch this out and actually get it to the solar all of a sudden same thing this is a off-grid system and it's working on this little bitty battery here that's the point now I'm gonna do it with this big battery what's the difference between that why would I switch to a big battery if this little battery can handle everything because I want more power not see that 12 volts just barely able to run this because i have to put this on here just to boost it up because this right here won't turn over at 12 volts so i need bigger batteries more power and then all of a sudden i can cycle it just the same way and i can run this and i can turn this up higher or lower just by turning this variable turning circles and good v turning okay so if i turn that variable of power supply that's going in to this i get more out here to go into the grid and that's going into my grid because if you unplug this it turns off so this is has to be plugged into my grid that's what tie grid or grid ties do that goes into my grid this is going into my grid okay so now that we explain all of these different things, we're taking the data, we're taking the measurements, it fully describes what we put in the definition. That over unity is a measurement of alternating DC current. ADC. ADC. And ADC has just been... Uh, um, described shown so you understand exactly what's going on with this system that's the explanation of explaining on what my system actually does you get a hey, you guys give me feedback I'll answer your questions I'm out <laughs>